Hiya, hi everyone, hope you're well. So this is the third lesson involving math lockdown lessons. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing in today's lesson involves how do I rearrange equations? Now, when you rearrange equations, you're usually dealing with variables. Variables are letters. So they're like X, A, B, whatever. So they basically mean they're unknown values Okay, so then you you are required to solve it. But when you deal with rearrange equation, it's all about making that particular letter the subject. Okay, so here's some of the definitions. The subject of a formula is a variable letter in the formula which stands on its own, usually on the left-hand side. Okay, so for example, x is the subject of each of the following equations. So x is by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. So you have x is by itself, so x is equal to 5t plus 4. The second example is x is equal to 4 open brackets 2y minus 7. Again, the y is by itself on the left-hand side. The third example is y, sorry, x is again on its own on the left-hand side. So x is equal to 6v plus 8. So these are all examples of x being the subject. x isolated on its own on the left-hand side. So to change the existing subject to a different variable, you have to rearrange the formula to get that variable on the left-hand side. Okay, you can do this by using the same rule as solving equations, move the terms concerned from one side of the equation to, to the other side. So for example, we have y equals x plus 2, and we need to make x the subject. So x needs to be by itself. To make x by itself, we need to somehow get rid of this or eliminate positive 2. How do I make positive 2 cancel? How do I get rid of it? You can get rid of it by making it to 0. And the way we do that is by minusing 2. Because on the number line, we have 0, 1, and 2. So obviously, if you have 0 anything, it, it disappears. So if you're 1 pound and you spend one pound, you don't have anything left. It's the exact same principle over here. So you have what? We've got a positive two, so you're over here. And you want to make it to zero, so we're gonna minus it. So again, we're gonna one, two, minus it by two. So once you do that, put two minus a two, it gives us zero, and we're left on its own, okay? So that side is equal to zero. But the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to the other side, you must do to, Whatever you, sorry, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So when I minus it by 2, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So y minus 2 is equal to x. Okay? We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. Because you need to make sure that the value on, of x is on the left-hand side. To do that, I'm just going to rearrange it like this. x is equal to y minus 2. And that is our final answer. Now the second example, y equals 2x. And we need to make x a subject. Whenever you have a letter next to a number, that basically means multiply. You're multiplying it together. So y equals 2 times x. Now to make x the subject, you need to do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide 2 from both sides. Okay, so y divided by 2 is equal to y divided by 2 equals x by itself. Now again, you need to make x the variable on the left-hand side. So, x the subject, sorry, so y is equal to, sorry, x is equal to y over 2. And that's our final answer. 
third example is y equals x minus 2 and we need to make x the subject in this example. It could be any variable but I've selected x could be a, b, c, d but x seems to be the common theme uh, uh, when you deal with rearranging equations. Again we have a negative 2. Back to the original uh, question that I did early on. I want to make this 0 so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So what we have is y plus 2 equals x. Now again, you need to make sure that the value, the variable x is on the left hand side. That's what mathematicians like, to have the variable on the left hand side of the equation. So x is equal to y plus 2. Now again, the fourth example is y equals x divided by 2. So y equals x divided by 2 and we need to make x subject. The inverse operation of division is multiplication so I'm going to divide, sorry, multiply both sides by 2 and what we have is this side will cancel out with 2's and we have 2y is equal to x. Again, the variable x needs to be on the left hand side of the equation, so x is equal to 2y. We have y equals x plus 4, we need to make x the subject. To do that, I'm just going to minus 4 from both sides. So we have y minus 4 equals x. I want to make x the subject again, so I'm going to x on the left hand side of the equation so y x equals y minus 4 and that's our final answer. Over here we have y equals 3x and we need to make x the subject. So as I said to you before when a number and a variable are together you are essentially multiplying it. So 3 times x and we need to do the inverse operation so we're going to divide both sides by 3 so we have y over 3 equals x. We need to make x the subject, put it on the left hand side. So we have x is equal to y over 3. And that's the final answer. Over here we have y equals x minus 4. And again, we need to make x the subject. To do that, I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. So we have y plus 4 equals x. I'm going to make x the subject over here. So I'm going to put x on the left hand side of the equation. So x equals y plus 4. And that is the answer. Over here, again, x the subject. We have y equals x divided by 5. The inverse operation of division is multi multiplication. We're going to divide, sorry, multiply both sides by 5. So that 5 on this side will cancel out. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the left hand side. So we have 5y is equal to x. And then we have, we, we want to make x the subject. So we're going to put it on the left hand side of the equation. So it's 5 x equals 5y. Now a quick test yourself examples. So again we have y equals x over 5 and we need to make x a subject. To do that as always we're going to multiply both sides by 5 and we have 5y equals x. Again we need to have we need to ensure that the x is on the left hand side of the equation so it's x equals 5y and that's our final answer. Get rid of that. This is a basic lesson on rearranging equation. I'm going to do a more complicated one later on, uh, another video, but just want to make sure you understand the basic concept to it.
And again, we have y equals six x, and we need to make x the subject. And as I said to you before, millions of times before, whenever there's a letter next to a number, you're multiplying it. But in this example, we are going to make x the subject, so I'm going to divide both sides by six. And what we have is y divided by six is equal to x. Make x the subject by putting it on the left hand side of the equation. So y over six. So the final answer is x equals y over six. Let me get rid of it now. Again, we have x, make x a subject, y equals x plus 7. I'm going to minus both sides by 7, making sure that the 7 cancels out. And what we have is y minus 7 equals x. I'm going to rearrange the equation to make sure x is on the left-hand side. So x equals y minus 7, and that's our final answer. We have y equals x minus 3. We need to make x the subject again. So we've got minus 3. I want to make it 0. I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. So we have y plus 3 equals x. I'm going to make sure x is on the left-hand side of the equation. So y plus 3. So our final answer is x is equal to y plus 3. And last example, y equals 5x, we will make x the subject. So again, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And what we have is y divided by 5 is equal to x. I'm going to carry it over here because I don't have any space. And the final answer is x is equal to y over 5. Okay, so have a go at these questions. You can pause the video and have a go at these questions for me, please. And I will reveal the answers right now. Oops. So have a go at these questions. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.